Welcome back to Retro Gaming Online, and now we have some more Video Games Monthly boxes. We're still digging through that backlog of stuff that we have, so um, that, we'll just dive right in. All right. So I'm I, like, as you guys already know, I'm Brad. This is Steve. Uh, we've been opening Video Games Monthly boxes for years now, yep. and um, we kind of had this a lull where we didn't do anything, and so we just kind of accumulated this huge stockpile of games yes. so we're trying to dig through them so we're going to do three boxes each in this video um so we get sky shark and i've gotten that i'm pretty sure i have that one already i think it's kind of like a 1943 like a, or whatever yeah. yeah yeah they're fun games i always enjoyed those <laughs> they, 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 and the funny thing is, is like you get the more modern ones and they're, they're just they're pretty cool too so my favorite is un squadron it's super freaking hard, but it's oh, really, really, really good. Yeah. I watch the kids play it sometimes. Oh, Whoa, what is that? That's Ski or Die. Ski or Die? Yeah, so it's like wow. one of the alternatives to Skate or Die. I've never actually played that. Never. I knew yeah. it existed, I, I knew it existed, but I forgot all about it. I actually want to play that, because I liked Skate or Die a lot. I, that was like one of my only games I had. Yeah. Yeah. I actually still have it in a box. Oh, nice. The original box, yeah. Jungle Book. One of the lesser uh, popular Disney games for this, because they had the like, Lion King and Aladdin, which yeah. all, uh, well, Aladdin was which are pretty. Awesome. <laughs> but I don't remember much about Jungle Book, so I w I'll actually play that one. And then, what is this? I can't remember. Section Z. Section Z. I think I've gotten that before. No, yeah, I guess not. it's. I don't know. Is it Capcom? Yeah. I don't know. Never. I've never played that. It's worth a shot. Right. Yeah, and so I get four games, um, Nintendo and Super Nintendo. Somewhere in here, I think some Nintendo 64 games are going to start popping up, but I have no idea when. And then I got a little sticker. It's a mystery. Link and Zelda. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. What is in here? What, what is this? Uh, it's got to be, oh, it's a cleaner rag. Oh, cool. Like a Very microfiber cool. rag? Yeah, that's what it looks like. And a reminder to uh, update your library. Something we don't do. Yeah. Oh, we'll start off with one up. Dabs. Dabs is the name on it. Gorilla War is the game. Somebody named Dabs. <laughs> So they tried to write on it with a with a pen. Yeah, that and didn't work. It didn't. It didn't quite work. It's more of an indent than a than yeah than ink. Let's see what we got here. Coaster Works. We got that last last one. Still in a wrapper. Is it the same one? Yeah. Nice. Let's see, Let's see what we get here. Ooh, Monsters Inc. Scream Arena. Ooh. It's got the booklet. This must be a battle game. See, this would be fun. I might have to pull this out and play with the kids. Oh, yeah. Because like the kids that. would like that. Sarge's War. Army Men. I liked the Army Men game. Like, the original... I don't know if it's that one, but around the PlayStation, PlayStation 2, they had a the Army Men's game. I wonder if these are like that Chaos game. What was it, Chaos? General Chaos. Oh, yes. I love that game. Sonic, uh, the Mega Collection. So I assume this is a bunch of the uh, original Sonic games. Or there's that. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's for the GameCube. So this for, oh, these are for the GameCube. Yep. So we got the GameCube going. Yeah, I have a GameCube. I have zero games for it. <laughs> that's why you got to add it to your list, man. Get, get yourself some games. I bet you get hockey. I bet, I bet so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, I got some more stickers. Got a. Um... Got a lot of stickers. Oh, a oh Mario that's Kart cool. One. I like that. And then that's really cool. It's a Super Mario one. It sucks because I like those stickers so much. I don't even put them on nothing. Right. You don't want to waste them on something. I know. It's like, what are you going to do? All right. So for the NES, we got Cobra Command. Data East. 
feel like when I hear that, I'm thinking like G.I. Joe. That's the first thing that comes to mind. Yeah, Cobra Commander. Totally like, huh? NES, uh, Dash Galaxy. No, I'm pretty sure I have that one. Dax, Dash Galaxy in the Alien Asylum. Where would where'd it come from? I don't know. There's no name on the... There's, oh, it there's just like an aftermarket like, oh. store UPC on the back. But We always get excited when we see old uh, video store stickers and stuff. I love when they have like... I just think it's, it's nostalgia. Yeah. Miss Pac-Man. So I got Pac-Man for the NES last uh, in the last video, and now I got Miss Pac-Man. Nice. For the Super Nintendo. And Demon Sword. Tato. Mm. Yeah. Not bad. Alright. You're getting good at that. I know. I'm Stack really surprised up. I haven't dominoed these whole things down. This is a pretty uh, heavy box here. Let's see what we got. Because they fill them full of like complete GameCube games. One up. There you go. Rock those one ups, man. You do. Test drive, off road two. I actually enjoy these games. I believe they were more like an open, like you could be open world. It wasn't like you were confined to driving. Yeah. Some of them. There was one game that was like, um, it was similar, but it was, uh, I don't know if you were a drug mule, but you had to run around and collect packages. Mm. <laughs> drug mule. <laughs> Spot, Spot goes to Hollywood. For the PlayStation. <laughs> My mom used to play Spot on um, Sega. Yeah. Yes. I, I, I was, was just about to say the Sega game. I, on Hollywood. My buddy had that. I only owned Nintendo stuff. Until PlayStation came out. Crash Bandicoot. Well, that's a classic. Yeah, the original. It's in the box with no manual, though. That's not bad. It's still in the original. It's like the case. So. Yeah, the greatest, greatest hits, hits case. So. Yeah. So we're going here. What is this one? Radical Rex. And we have Encore Entertainment on 303 91st Avenue Northeast. Is that Everett, Washington? W.A. Washington? Yeah. Yeah. Like Washington State? Yeah. 98205. Hmm. So if you need to get a hold of them, there's no area code. It's 335-3339. Yeah. I would love to have to no area code. Yeah, you know, that's old. No area code. That's great. Like, I would love for someone to like to have someone watch one of our videos that went to the rental yeah. stores that we've come across on here. G Police for Is PlayStation. Like Galaxy Police or something. Yeah, it's a uh... hmm. It's pretty. I never was a fan of the multiple disc games because it drives me crazy. <laughs> Because you gotta like keep them like. There's. How many discs are in that? It's just two, one or two. So, but no, like Final Fantasy Seven. Yeah. Was with me. I ended up. Uh, mine ended up Whoa. getting scratched on the first disc. So yeah, mine too. Like I, I, the whole damn thing was screwed because right. I had scratched one yeah. disc. That's that's one game that I would love to get another one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah let's see. Oh, look. Got some, oh, you got your tattoos. Got my tattoos. And there's, yeah, there's definitely some gum in there. Yeah. Who ate it? Somebody. Was it Mark? I, 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 it was probably Mark. I think Mark or Scott did. Um, what is that? Athena. I've never heard of that. Never seen that one. It's SNK. Um, ah, Bart Simpson. The Which Simpsons Bart's Nightmare. I had okay, this. So we have Nightmare. We have um, the. Um, there was Krusty. I got Krusty, like a Krusty. The Krusty one, the world, the alien. Yeah. And an arcade. Right. Because arcade. Didn't arcade come out? For, no. No, it was it only in the arcade. Just, okay, I thought they brought yeah. that up. Alpha Mission. Like a double. A double uh, SNK. I always like when they had like. The different brands, you could tell who who made it because of the, yeah. the label style. Right. Like, uh, Ultra always had the Ultra yeah. at the top. And then you got the SNK has that has line. Has that green and blue line yeah. in there. And then we have Ninja Kid for the Nintendo Entertainment System. 
I was gonna say, is that a five screw? It is a five screw. Yeah, it is actually. So you can tell that's kind of old. Oh, there's the section Z is a five screw. Yeah, so I didn't even notice that. So it, is it only black tops? It was. Uh, my understanding is it was only like the original. Like it's not necessarily the black box games, but it's it's okay. the it was like the first set of releases within that gotcha. first like time frame. Yeah. Until they switched to manufacturing the three screws because they were. Ooh. Guess, cheaper. Oh, sweet. An opener. Cool. Remind me to uh, update. You can win three free games there. Let's just get right in here. Oh. There you go. Three for three. <laughs> Toaster works. You must have a stockpile of those. Oh, yeah. Boys. Wow, I got Resident Evil Disc 1 and 2 for the GameCube. That's the original Resident Evil? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, I love that game. I remember, so my... my I'm not a fan of Resident Evil. I love the first I, I'm one. I'm not. I, I, even the new one, I was like, everybody's like, oh, it's great. And I was like, I'm not interested. My, my cousin had a big Dalmatian, right? Uh, and so I remember we were playing the game in the in the front room of the house, and it was dark. We had the lights out, and we're playing. We're terrified. You know, the dogs and stuff used to like jump through the yeah. windows, and like the zombies would come. Yeah, it's probably why I don't like it. And probably, <laughs> and there was a window behind us, and we're playing Resident Evil, and the dog jumped up on the window. Oh god! Scared the crap out of us. Like we literally went like jumped up, screaming and running, like oh, ran dude. to our aunt. <laughs> All right. Black Bass. I never played that one, but I did play Super Black Bass for the I'll Super Nintendo. I played this Nintendo. one. I played, um, I rented this from uh, the video game store. I always liked the fishing um, games. Just to try, because, I mean, I didn't know. It was fishing to me. Yeah. Dead to rights. There you go. You, you, you got a little collection going. I do. Dead to rights is going to be that Namcom Museum. Get a little Dig Dug, Pole Position, Galica. I like Dig Dug. It's, it's not like Pole, it's Pole Position 2. Oh. So. My cousin had the Atari. He had Pole Position on that. That's one of the first video games I ever played. Yeah. Ever. Was Pole Position. Well, there's our three boxes. Um, yeah, not bad. I mean, I don't, I think I got a couple of doubles. That's it. I know... Steve is running. We're going to try to see how many cons how many consecutive boxes he can get uh, the roller coaster game in. So that's, yeah, that's or uh, dead to rights. Or dead to rights. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's going to win? Wait to find out. There you go. <laughs> well, thanks everyone for watching.